What's good YouTube? I'm here with another video and today I'm going to talk about the big story regarding KD and Kyrie joining forces together with the Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie has signed a deal with the Nets worth of a four year deal of 141 million. So it's it's a lot of going on in the NBA and later last night we uh, uh, Adrian Wall she broke the report of Durant signing a four year deal 164 million dollar deal. So both of these guys are getting paid and the Nets pulled off a a great move for the organization. You know how much tickets is going to be raving? Like I'm going to a, a Nets game <laughs> next season. So uh, <laughs> it's a lot going on in this league and it's good to just see a new team come up, you know, and at that is the Nets. You know, the Nets been a laughing stock for so many years in the NBA and it's it's good to see another team rise and it's happening in the east so it's going to be a balance i for me i definitely think the raptors is still and the bucks are are two of the top teams in the league but the nets you know obviously durant is he's not going to play next season but with Kyrie molding the team for next year i definitely think the nets they they're gonna eventually go to a championship within the next three years. I would say. I would. I'm I'm even gonna go far as saying I think the Nets will actually win a championship if KD comes back. Maybe that second season and you know his foot and his feet get right, and within time of the Nets developing a better roster, I definitely see this Nets team evolving into a championship squad. But a lot of big news. Also, the Nets acquired DeAndre Jordan for a four-year, forty million dollar deal. Which I heard um, KD and Kyrie, they took a little bit less money to get that deal uh, finalized. And DeAndre Jordan is heading into Brooklyn just like he came into New York. You know, he just down the street. <laughs> and uh, good news for him because DeAndre Jordan, he's a solid center. You know, he's a very solid center. And Kyrie Irving, with his passing ability, I see lobs all day. You know, Kyrie should just study CP3 and just lobs all day. And DeAndre Jordan and KD are best friends. I didn't know how deep they were as friends, but uh, a lot of reports saying that KD and DeAndre Jordan and, and you know Kyrie, we've seen a lot of chitter chat between them um, this season. You know, behind close, you know, behind what was it? Kyrie and uh, was mad that uh, people was recording him. When uh, they, like them two was discussing like in a private settings, and um, I thought that was kind of funny. But so all along, this was the plan, and uh, Kevin Durant he 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 made a good uh, investment. You know, he signed a 164 million dollar deal, but times that by two. Him being in Brooklyn is going to be a lot of revenue and a lot of money to be made there. And same thing with Kyrie, shout out to Kyrie. He just signed with Rock Nation, you know, Jay-Z, definitely gonna put him on the map. And it's a lot going on, and I just think it's a really good, um, this is a good situation for the NBA because it's just gonna create a balance. And with the Warriors, obviously dominating the league for the last six years, you know, with KD leaving, now creates opportunity for another team to step up, whether it's the Rockets, uh, the Lakers, the Lakers are coming. And, you know, it's just a race. It's it's a race for the championship. And next year, I honestly think anyone could win it next year. But um, the bigger question is, who's the bigger duel between Kyrie and Durant or AD and LeBron? Uh, those are, I would say these are two these players are going to be the top duels in the NBA. Um, and then you could also put Curry and Clay up there. But um, it's I'm, it's very interesting to see how KD is going to play with Kyrie. You know, obviously Kyrie, a lot of people, um, you know, are, are disappointed with his success with the Celtics. But the guy played good. In 2017, he averaged 24 points. He shot 49.1% from the field. He had he averaged three rebounds, five assists, and a steal per game, and that was that was 2017, 2018. I mean, his numbers dropped a little bit. You know, he averaged 23.8 points. He shot 48.7 percent from the field, averaged five rebounds and 6.9 assists. So his assist rating went up. So you know, he did what he could for the Celtics, and you know, this is his first. I would say for Kyrie, this is the first 
decision he made based off where he wants to go. Remember, when he left Cleveland, he didn't. That wasn't his choice. He got traded to, you know, the Celtics. So now this is opportunity to go best with, you know, what best fits him. And he made a good decision going to the Nets. And you know, I just think it was a good investment for both parties involved. So it's going to be a really good lineup. Um, the Nets obviously is a young team. The Nets. You know, they still got to grow. You know, D'Angelo Russell, he's gone. So, I mean, you know, there's no fiddle between that. But they still got Jerry Allen, a power forward that's coming up. He's a great shot blocker. You know, they got Joe Harris, a, a nice three-point shooter. Uh, Shabazz Napier, back, back a point. Um, you know, they got uh, Chris LeVert, small forward, solid small forward. So, they have some good pieces on this roster. And they're only this Nets roster is only going to get better over time. So... Um, I don't want to dwell too much on this, but that's the news for for what's going on with the Nets. Obviously, it's still the offseason, and a lot more deals and trades are going to happen, so we would have to see. And um, stay tuned for more. I'm dropping more content, more videos. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'm going to keep this content going. I'm doing straight basketball content of the offseason, and stay tuned and do your thing, guys. Peace.